Hey guys, Buffer Gay Bad today, bringing a video. And today we are back in Incursion Red River. Gonna cover another mission here. Today we're using the Sig Rattler or the LVAW build using the Rattler. Unfortunately, this one's in 556 here in the game, so I figured I'd do this video because Grand Thumb released a video uh, today is 300 Blackout worth it, you, and he's covering the LVAW in 300 Blackout. So here we have the same build, very close, um, that he's using in the videos and we've covered in the past, but this one obviously is shaving a 5x6x45 version of the Rattler, not a 300 Blackout version, but a lot of updates coming to Incursion Red River in the future, so they may uh, end up adding a 300 Blackout version. Our mission today, we are solo infilling here on the map, and what we need to do is install bugs in the military compound. So right here is our bugs that we're going to pick up. Then we need to go to the military base, install all five bugs. So this is actually a relatively difficult mission. Um, here's the military base. So we need to traverse not a not too long of a distance, thankfully. And then we need to exfil. So our best exfil option is going to be here at the end of military base. So we can kind of loop through and do this. I think the plan here today is we're going to get the bugs, come down the main road, Look out for enemy infantry in this area near this extract zone here. And we're going to go right in one of the front gates. And then we're going to eliminate the threats in the area. And we'll start with this far bug here most likely. And then work our way through. From north to south. And then we're going to exfil. So I think this is the, probably the better option to come in here. Because I have more cover. I have better visibility, and then we can hit this north target and work down. So, let's go ahead and check this out. If you guys are new to the channel or new to these videos, in Cruiser Red River, I've done a couple of videos on this. One is an as a how-to video, everything you need to know about in Cruiser Red River. It is available on Steam for, uh, I believe it's seventeen dollars at this right now, sixteen or seventeen. So it's actually very uh, affordable, and it is PV. E right now but it is co-op so you can play with friends i don't know if there's plans to add any uh pvp aspects to this but this is a hardcore tactical extraction shooter and it is a ton of fun so i'm having a blast with this game so far we have our lvaw here let's make sure we are in semi laser we also have our our flashlight here so i think we're good to go Let's go ahead and start moving in. So we spawned by one of the bridges. We need to be careful here because the AI is very difficult. Like I said, I've done two videos on this game so far. One was everything you know about Incursion Red River, how to play it, all of that. Going into pretty much pretty deep detail on everything. Ooh, here's an extra 556 five, mag, so we may be able to utilize that later with our Rattler. Extra pain meds. We have a motherboard here. Oh, what happened to that? I went to inspect it, and I think it deleted it. Oh, I dropped it instead. I thought that there was no inspect on that. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, there it is. Maybe? Yep, I got it. Did I get it? There it is. Okay, let's get it down here in the backpack. Get rid of this down here. Put our Glock down here in case we need to put that mag away. Beautiful. So, like I was saying, I did the how-to, everything you need to know about the game, how to play it. And we went through a live mission. Then we did a, a different raid with a Scar Heavy, the Mark 17, the other day. And today, we're covering this one here with the LVAW. Now, this mission is for one of the traders, the VLF faction. So, we're doing this mission. We have some really good rewards. $2,000, and I think we get the, uh, the Desert Tech Sniper Rifle, which was a new sniper that was added to the game recently. So, when we... Assuming we don't die during the mission, we'll get out and uh, if we can exfil successfully, I will show you guys that uh, sniper rifle and the rest of the rewards that we get when we come out. I can hear movement on, the, on this wall here. So we really need to be careful. Because the AI is... Pretty difficult. Speaking of AI, there's one there. We're not going to engage him yet. Let's move to cover. One down. 
Okay, this is an extraction that opens up that we looked at on the map. This doesn't open for another 14 minutes, I believe. Tower looks clear. I still hear movement on the other side of that wall. So there's definitely guys up and around there. So this is that main entrance that I talked about. I don't know what I made the control for holding breath. Okay, we still got a good mag there. Now this is on PC only right now. I'm still still getting my, my bearings with PC these days. I used to play a lot of Tarkov during Modern Warfare 2019 days. Um, oh, I did that. You know, we, we did a couple streams and I did a few videos for it. <clears throat> but um, largely I would play that um, early 2020, like during the night after, you know, videos and all that stuff were done. I would jump in with some buddies and we would play a lot of Tarkov till like 2 or 3 a.m. depending. <laughs> Uh, during, especially during COVID when we were just all working from home. So it, I could pretty much be up really late and not worry about getting up and having to go into the office then. Um, but again, I haven't really played in a long time on PC. So getting, I just got the new PC 47 super is our graphics card here. Nice. Let's get a fresh mag here. I'm running an i7. I don't remember the particular kind. I'd have to look at it. It's it's a it's the best i7 you can get. But I actually got this particular. This is a pre-built one. I did not build it myself. I got this at um, Best Buy, believe it or not. Um, so if anyone's interested in the specs, let me know down below, and I will give them to you. But I think definitely updating to a PC was the best decision that I made for sure for the channel. Um, just allows me a lot more content. Things like this, Arena Breakout, Ground Branch, Delta Force. I'll get, hopefully, um, we get hands on that with the, I believe, the early Open Alpha in uh, July at some point. So that'll be really good. All of that on PC first. So that's really awesome. And obviously gray zone too. I think I took might have taken a hit there. Nope, I didn't. Didn't even hit my plate. Okay. Thought I hit my plate there. Um, so yeah, PC, just a lot of options. A lot of better games, honestly. And Incursion Red River here, our buddy, friend of the channel, Blue the Robot, did some work on this game and still does do some things. Member of the team over there, so... Um, big shout out to Blue for all his work. This is a great game. Very small dev team. And, uh, honestly, like what they've done content wise and what they plan to do, they have a new map in the works. Also new weapons, lots of stuff coming to this game. So, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty impressive what a small dev team can do compared to a triple A dev team. Mainly comparing to Call of Duty. Because these I think a lot of these smaller games on PC that I've been playing. Have better content than Call of, something like Call of Duty. Bang. Holy crap. That definitely hit me. I didn't realize he could get around this way. Good God. All right, we definitely took a shot there. 54, yeah, okay, we're gonna need to use. So the, the healing in this game is pretty straightforward right now. I don't know if they're going to advance it, but I do like the way it is, honestly. And uh, rookie mistake, guess who didn't bring extra, extra spare bullets? That'd be me, so we're going to need to uh, reorganize a little bit here. So there's no like mag stacking as far as like 
the manual reload like in Tarkov or Breakout. You just put it in there and it instantly reloads, which is really nice. So we're going to need to, you know, we're going to be running low on 5.56 five, here. So we're going to need to loot a little bit. I think we're clear for the most part in this particular part of the military base. And that's exactly what we need, honestly, right there is perfect. Uh, inspect. There we go. Much better. My plate carrier is a little beat up. So I'm at 44 of 100. My helmet is done. So we're going to drop this and replace it with this, guys. So I should pro I'm lucky to be alive at this point. That was, uh, that was pretty wild. I took some good shots there. Um, his plate carrier is cooked. Mine still has half. Let's see. This guy's got a good. Okay, this is this is better. And he's got the same backpack as me. So let's bring our mags over to here. He's got a better. Uh, he's got a a larger plate carrier? Question mark. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he's got a larger plate carrier. So that's good. Put that there. Our Glock twenty. Let's just put that in there. We'll take his MP five SD. And then we will get rid of our carrier. We cannot, um, we can't repair yet. I think that's something that's coming in a later update. Oh, I put my Glock 20 in the wrong backpack. There we go. We'll take that 338 ammo though. Put it there. And we also cannot backpack stack yet either. All right, we're back up and running. Full play carrier. Got a nice MP5 SD. And our helmet's good. All right. Golden. So, really quick, I'll. I think we're clear. So let's pull up the map so you guys can see where we're trying to go here. So here we are. We need to, we're going to start North Bug and work our way down, and then we're going to exfil. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm not sure how well you guys can hear the sound as far as like footsteps go, but uh. The footstep audio is very crisp and clear with this game. You know, I can hear these guys walking um, from a decent decent distance, which you would expect given the amount of gear that you're carrying. You know, you're going to hear some movement for sure. Um, I think they're doing a good job with it. And I, speaking of, I hear a guy now. I'll try to be quiet so maybe you guys can hear him. Here's the bug we need to place. We see the icon here. One bug planted. Let's clear our upstairs. He sounds like he's behind me right now. Just want to clear this side. Definitely back this way. Somewhere. He's somewhere there, but I can't hear him. Now with my helmet though, I do have, um, I do have hearing protection, which does amplify sound and muffle decibels for gunshots. So um, that would make sense why I'm hearing him. Oh, there he is, right there. Oh, uh, I think he got me a couple times there. Let's get in here and just check ourselves. See if we're hurt. No, we're good. Okay. Next build we need to go to is this one in front of me. Check our mag quick. So you have the SIG MCX Virtus and you have the SIG Rattler here in game, which is pretty sick. Um, they're both chambered to 5.56 though, so like I said, maybe they'll add a 300 blackout conversion at some point. Alright, now this, these are a little bit hard to identify, but here you can see the icon for the bomb. Go ahead and put it there. So you really, and you can use your map and just zoom in. Sometimes you need to kind of check your map on and off to make sure you're in the right direction, in the right vicinity, things like that as to where you need to plant it. that 
laser up so we're not targeted right away. I think it should be on this truck. Maybe. Oof. Was it? I thought I just... Oh, there it is. Okay. So, so that's an example of ones that are hard to see. <laughs> I did not even see that. Now the next one I think was over to my left. Let's just double check. Here we are, yeah, okay, so it's right to the left, and then we have one in the bunker in front of me, and then our exfil in front of us here. So it's 3.17 p.m. right now, we exfilled, or excuse me, we infilled at 1.30, so it's been two hours in game time right now with the raid, which is pretty cool. Is that a guy? Here, a guy, though. Okay, got him. Let's unload. There we go. Okay, we need to go straight over here to our left. Clear. I think it's on one of these containers. Got a loot box here. And by 19, we'll take that. Take that. You can sell all this stuff that we're not going to need or use. All right, here's the icon. So like, I just found that by dumb luck. You can see how hard it is to see right there. So I don't know if they'll update that, but I do think it's I do think it's a little cool. You know, it's challenging. You got to kind of find it, and you also got to like. You know, I could check my my map here on and off to see how close I am and then kind of know where to look for it. So I like that, that it's not just like straightforward. Again, it really reinforces like the tactical elements, the immersion elements where it's not so easy for you to see it. it you know, you need to really be immersed in the environment and look around for, for the objectives, which is good. Let's go full auto here, the happy trigger. Happy setting. In case we run into anybody in here, we'll just blast them. So there should be one in here. It looked like it was in the front area. So up oh, there it is, right there on that oil can in front of me, to my left. Just checking the the room. Okay. All right. Looks good. Bring up our map. So right here. Looks like we got to go straight to the exfil outside. So let's do that. Pretty crazy that this is already, I think, an 18 minute video right at this point. Um, it felt faster and it also felt longer at the same time. But again, this is like a very immersive you know, that's great action right there. And like I said, I have the AI on a on some custom settings, so they're a little bit... They, so they're not, not easier, but also they're not going to aimbot the heck, heck out of you. You can you can customize your AI settings yourself um, if you want, or there's presets. Um, so the base AI was very hard. These ones are still very, very difficult. I'm just getting better at the game. Because um, I have died quite a lot, honestly. <laughs> and... Uh, Getting better at the game for sure, but I do have it so they're not just going to snap on your head and kill you instantly, which obviously helps. Okay, I think we're good. This should be our exfil up here. Nice little prank up. Again, the graphics look awesome. Like, this is great. You know, looks really, really nice. <clears throat> so now we did that, I'll show you guys the rewards here. Love a good LVAW. Just we didn't get to go full auto on enemy, but you can see it there. Um, so let's get our rewards. So we got our inbox, stealthy op success. So we completed the mission for VLF action. We got two thousand in cash. We got an RMR optic, an S Stark SE three foregrip, and then we got the SRS A two from Desert Tech sniper rifle. So let me see. We can probably inspect this. 
This is a 338 sniper bullpup from Desert Tech. Hopefully they add the MDR because I love me an MDR. But this thing is gorgeous. So that's why I picked the mission just to get that sniper rifle. Really nice to receive those rewards. Perfect. And that's how you do it. Go ahead and check out the other videos as to the how-tos because here's our, our faction board. We can go ahead and select more missions. Traders, I go through all this in the first video, the how-to videos. I'll link the series or the playlist down below in the, in the description of the video if you guys are more interested in more stuff, how to do things like shooting rage, build your gun up, understand the traders, all of that stuff I cover um, in that. So if you guys want to check that out, check the playlist and look at that, how, that first how-to video, everything you need to know about incursion red river and uh i think you will like it you can also point shoot and yes there is nods in the game which is sick so this is incursion red river that was a beautiful gameplay loop right there we can sell all this and make ourselves some more money so very easy i go through all this in that first video let me know your thoughts down below if you're enjoying the content be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel for a lot more coming down the road and let me know your thoughts right there. We sold all that with 45,000. And you can see our SRS right there in the, uh, can I run this right now? I cannot, I also don't have, probably don't have the, I wonder if it's even functional. Let's see. Let's see if we can just shoot it for fun. Be a good way to end the video. Very nice. So this is Buckner Gaming. Incursion Red River available on Steam for PC. That is that is clean for sixteen dollars. Let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, buffer game out.